Good morning everyone, Sopo here. I'm starting a new vlog from Georgia by the way. I'm just sitting outside in front of in front of our house and as you can hear our neighbor is already busy uh, working on some metal. I think we have a metal smith somewhere next door. Um, anyhow, uh, I just wanted to say hi and take you on board and show you a few snippets without showing much of the privacy and family situations because I don't know if it would be something that my family members would want to um, share on the internet. In front of me there are two kitties right now and I'm just uh, filling up the void of missing my kitties by sneaking out the meat from our fridge which my parents are not happy about. Let me show it quickly to you. Can you see these little nuggets? I sliced the little bit of meat for them. There are four kittens and one mother, but mother looks like kitten herself. It always breaks my heart thinking that they might be hungry. It's not typical in Georgia to feed cats with meat. They feed them bread and I don't know, some other things which are definitely not the right food for them. As long as I'm here, obviously I'm gonna be sharing my own meal with them so that they are not hungry. How pretty are they? There are probably many things that might surprise you here because the quality of life obviously is not the same as um, many of you who follow me from Europe might be used to. Um, but it's also surprising that when I'm here I don't have any demands on quality of life. Like I am happy and satisfied with the things I would never think that I would be. Probably it's because I'm with my family and I have been growing up in this environment so um, it just is full of memories, everything, even the weirdest things which are uncomfortable and uneasy at some point. Um, but that's just how I know it and also it makes me very much respect my parents for being this simple and yet very content um, and very positive um, about life and the way they went through and everything that they provided. So this is the front yard in our house and as you can tell my dad is into gardening and now we are going out to get some ventilator because it's super hot in here. Falgo is first time with his sport shoes outside in shorts. So we just came out because uh, we need to buy ventilator. It's super humid and hot and my parents had one obviously but it got spoiled and I really had the hardest time to sleep last night. Um, they don't know that because they would obviously want to purchase it themselves and I really don't want to add extra burden or costs on them. So uh, yeah, we thought it would be as well something that could make a birthday present for my father. Not that it's like his dream, but he doesn't have any dreams. <laughs> um, let's stay honest. He always says that he doesn't want anything. He doesn't like his birthday overall, generally. So yeah, that will be at least something. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So. That's how the small shops here look. It's next day. I forgot to tune in yesterday. We bought the ventilator and went back home, but it was pretty late. Now we are going to Svaneri. I don't know if you can tell, but we are already on the road in Paugo. Is over there testing out the drone. You can probably hear all the waterfall situation. Um, and we're just halfway through. It's absolutely beautiful already, breathtaking, and we cannot wait to see more. It's already so cold that I pulled out my jacket 
and that's what I'm wearing. We're gonna be staying overnight at the place where we are heading to and I'm super happy that my dad also came with us because we are gonna be, um, yeah, staying overnight there and then return tomorrow. We are making little pit stops along the road because it is so beautiful on all of those places. Say hi! So there is down there a village of my sister-in-law. Uh, we are not going to visit her like family there right now, but we still wanted to at least quickly see where she lives. <laughs> I just don't have words to put my excitement into words. It's just, yeah. We are not used to such a mountainous range um, and terrain in Germany. I think the Black Forest was the highest point um, where we have been um, while living in Germany. So being here gives me opportunity once again to admire Georgian mountainous range. We just arrived. It's the center of Mestia over here. And the gorgeous mountains up there. After the Upper Serenity visit, on the way back home to Zugdidi, we stopped shortly on Nguri Hess. It is a very beautiful uh, place um, and we decided to use the opportunity and fly the drone once again. Uh, I've been there a few times, um, but um, we wanted to show it to Falvo as well. It's pretty significant um, Hess for like Georgia and um, also has a very strategic location. It was very smoggy and a little bit chilly, but um, clouds which were floating down made the scenery even more beautiful. So it was a good idea to make a stop there and um, see the area once again. And then in a few minutes time we were just back home, uh, back to the mosquitoes and uh, this humid weather that Zugdidi is very famous for, especially in Samam. After that we have spent a few wonderful days with my family. I did not really vlog much because I really enjoyed every single second of it um, with my family members and did not want to spend time like editing or having camera in hand. Uh, we are currently packing our luggage and heading to Tbilisi. I'm slightly sad because it's never enough for me to be here um, despite the living conditions um, which we have here and I really underline it because it's really big difference to Germany for me um, I love absolutely to spend uh, my days here despite the fact that the bathroom is outside the toilet is outside we don't have air conditioning everywhere food is different but it's something which I really really miss um, so yeah mosquitoes <laughs> and bites which are all over me right now 
I still adore every single second spent here. And I'm slightly sad because my dad is staying here uh, as well. He is not accompanying us to Tbilisi. I will be spending a few days more um, with the rest of the family in Tbilisi. My little sunshine. Uh, then Falco will head home to Germany and uh, I fly back on 8th of September. Unbelievable how quickly the time flies. Anyhow, this video is long enough. I'm gonna say bye now. Thank you for tuning in and spending time with me, uh, sharing my joy <laughs> of being in Georgia. And I'm gonna see you on my next one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'm gonna be glad to see you on board.